best friends. We were what you would call a click, or a pretty sad excuse for one at least. Anyway, we went through everything together, and unfortunately that also meant being bullied together too. It was first just me and April. You see, we're next door neighbors, and we were practically best friends all our lives. We did everything together. Yeah. It was the two of us for a while. We even got bullied together too. Lovely, right? You know, it sucked, but at least we had each other. And then fifth grade came around and we met Jess. Jess and I were really close, really fast. And then it was the three of us. For a little bit. Then, I don't know. I guess April didn't want to be associated with us anymore. Kim personality started to change gradually. She started to transform to this ultra version of, her, of herself that she used to be. She had a different attitude. She did things that she wouldn't normally do. It wasn't just fault that Kim was changing. She was actually kind of nice, but nonetheless, I started to become the third wheel. So I couldn't understand being around this new, new fake Kim. I couldn't feel myself around them, so I did this myself. So yeah, she became a loner, which was weird at first because, you know, I was so used to having her around, but eventually I forgot about her. Until my mom told me that her mom said she moved to her dad's house, and I don't know what happened to her over there because when she came back, she was like ten times more chemo than she was before. The fifth grade changed everything, starting with my friends. There was a short nerdy girl in my class with her skirt full of her belly button. She was pretty friendly. Her name was April. And there was this dark haired pretty girl. Well, pretty to me, anyways. Not to herself or others. Her name was Kim. I remember asking her about her Powerpuff Girl lunchbox, and the rest was history. We did everything together. We were inseparable. We traded lunches, went to the bathroom, talked on the phone, walked home, and we even got bullied together. But I didn't mind as long as I had my best friend by my side. You know, that's what friends are for. No, not to Kim. She suddenly came to the conclusion that having me as her friend is not helping her social status. I started going out with a boy that was really popular, and actually, just really liked him, but I did it anyways. He was my key to the in crowd. I took my bullying into my own hands. I did whatever it took to not be bullied anymore, and that meant changing my hair, clothes, and attitude. Um, this one time, I actually said some things about Jess, but like, it was harmless. She called me fat in front of the whole class, over and over. Of course I ran out crying, but when she was calling the principal's office, her perfect little smile saved her from getting into a lot of trouble. She gave me a lip sync. You betrayed me. And yeah, that was it. I guess she could say we can stay friends until the sixth grade. She continued to change a lot. But she would still tell me all her secrets after school. And she was always so nice to me when people weren't looking. And then, she just had better things to do. Who were people hang out with? So, she just forgot about me. So yeah, the three of us don't really talk anymore, but hey, things happen. People move on. I'm not crying. Staring problems? What? Keep your eyes to yourself. Got it? Whatever.